Hey YouTube world, I pulled my emergency car kit out of the car today. Here in central Pennsylvania, we're uh, coming into winter time. So I just pulled it out and went through everything and made sure everything was still good. Did a test run on a couple of things. So thought I'd show you guys what my little kit is. Now I'm going to talk fast. I'm going to go fast because I want to try and keep this under 10 minutes. First and foremost, I've got to tell you, all this crap here fits inside this two gallon bucket pretty easily i might add there's room for more stuff um now first here here we go here, here's the here's the first thing you've got a two gallon bucket i scored for free right walmart sam's club pink icing all right go to your supermarket ask them what they do with their old uh, icing buckets their food grade usually they throw them out or send them out for recycling i got it for free so two gallons, almost eight liters for the metric mitre. It's got a good lid with a nice seal. So you've got a seat, you've got water storage. We're off to a good start. Now most of this stuff here I paid very little money for or got for free. Three ponchos. I don't know why three. I just picked up three from the Dollar Tree. Literally a dollar each. Right? Use them once, throw them away. If they keep you dry, awesome. They've done their job. So three ponchos. I have two Mylar blankets. Right, help keep you warm in a survival situation. Um, toothpaste. This was just a leftover from a plane trip back to Australia to see the family. So, the, hey, I'll throw it in. Why not? A couple of packets of glow sticks for the obvious. Um, give you some light in the car, in the cave, whatever, wherever you may be. If you decide you're walking away from your car, to go through a wooded area to try and find a house or walk to a highway or whatever okay for whatever you, you might be four-wheel driving camping i don't know what you're going to do and you could get stuck you might decide to leave the car um you can tie these to a tree right periodically within a line of sight and at least give people uh, an indication any search and rescue people an indication of what direction you may have head headed so multiple uses for those anyway i'm getting slow um, here I've got some plastic bags. This is just a kitchen garbage bag. I don't know, keep your firewood dry, your kindling dry. I don't know what you're going to do, but um, this is a one gallon or four litre plastic bag for water storage once you've purified some water um, or water to be purified. Store it in there. Um, oh, I, have, I missed the hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, obvious reason if you found some berries or something you're going to eat, you can clean your hands. Also, flammable. Very good uh, to help you start a fire if your kindling is wet or damp. This is an old uh, radio flashlight hand crank thing that I just decided to recycle once a month. I pull it out, give it a few cranks, not to charge the battery. It doesn't hold, but it's just to keep the battery um, active. Uh, worst case scenario, you can be walking through the woods. Uh, as long as you crank it, you've got a, got some light. And it's AM, FM radio too, so if you're stuck somewhere, uh, if you're not too far from a town, or hopefully, you know, who knows, you might pick up some music or some political talk radio or something. Wouldn't that be great? Um, alcohol swabs, excellent for bug bites. All right, it'll sterilize or um, uh, clean the uh, the bug bite and give you some relief. Also, good little fire starters. This was just, I think I got this for two bucks somewhere. A little emergency flashlight with a whistle. Um, Multi-tool, not a great one. It's one I had laying around, so it went in the kit. Water purifying tablets, these are only about four bucks, um, so I threw them in. Cheap knife, it's not great, but it's a knife. I've got to find a, a better one, something that'll stand up and fit in there, but for now, that's in there. Rat trap, this was a bit of a joke. I thought this was funny. In Walmart one day, saw this for 97 cents. So I thought, that's a hell of a survival item. Squirrels, uh, it would even pin down a rabbit so you can get it and snap its neck. I am going to put um, uh, one of those screw-in eye hooks or the, the threaded eyes. I'm going to screw one in either end. If you decide you're going to use it, okay, you can screw it to the trunk of a tree vertically like that. and uh, Or, you know, sorry, tie a string around a branch and have it resting against a tree trunk. Mr. Squirrel comes down, whack. Uh, or if you uh, use a piece of string, you can stake it to the ground. Uh, so if you do get a rabbit, he's not going to run off with it until you get to him and snap his neck. This roll, uh, this is the film canister. Remember these back in the day if you're old enough? The roll of film used to come in there. Watertight. This has got some peanut butter in it. Yeah, if I get desperate, I can eat peanut butter, but it's really some bait. 
for the rat trap. So look, I'm probably, you know, like if I get desperate enough, I would use this, but I just bought this for, I thought, because I thought for less than a buck, that's probably an awesome idea for a little survival kit. Doesn't take up much room. You got some bait there. So yeah, bit of fun. Now, moving on. This stuff here to the right of my hand, this is my little cooking kit. All this junk goes inside there, that goes inside there, okay? So what I have here, this is one of those iMusa grease containers that Grandma used to have on the stove. All the lard and the bacon fat and whatever she used to, uh, you know, this guy sits in there. Remember, Grandma used to pour all the bacon fat and drippings and everything through there into the can to keep it to cook the next meal well that's these are only six or seven bucks you can cook with it you can drink out of it you can store stuff in it really good rust proof so now what i put inside here chicken bouillon cubes think about it if you are stuck somewhere now i'm not talking about just stuck out in the wilderness maybe you're four-wheel driving camping and shit goes wrong and you're stuck in the car overnight okay summer winter especially in winter time if it's cold, you're really going to appreciate having something hot and tasty to sip on. If you're stuck there for a few days, you're going to need some fat and you're going to need some salt. All right, all in here. Um, or oh, the other thing too is, you know, uh, you might have to sterilize pond water or creek water that's a little muddy. You're like, yeah, trust me, you got to be happy you got the chicken bouillon cubes. Um, here is the burner, all right, one of those little folding camp stoves, you've seen these, sits on there. They come with eight little fuel cells, good burn time on those. I use this today, not the fuel cells. I use the cotton wool balls rubbed in Vaseline. I have five in here, packed in here. This is another film uh, container. Um, I used one of those, worked excellent. Actually, I only used half of one, got some uh, twigs on there built myself a nice little fire i used the bouillon cube and made myself a nice cup of hot chicken broth it was delicious okay so five cotton balls rubbed with vaseline in there uh, this guy is jam packed full of 20 cotton q-tips 20 of them cut in half and dipped in vaseline these make excellent little matches they burn for a good few minutes to get a fire going so i've got 40 of those what do i light it with here's my little kit i've got a flint striker in here all right this is one of those retractable cigarette lighter things for the you know the smokers will know what i'm talking about hook that on your belt loop so you don't lose your lighter i saw that in walmart for like a dollar so i grabbed that too but what I've got inside here is an old uh, Bic lighter, a used Bic lighter. Instead of throwing it away, I cut it down and turned it into a flint striker. Let me pull it apart and I'll show you what's in there. Okay, that's what's inside. Now you can leave it full size if you want. Right? I decided to try a half size first. But all I did was drill the bottom out, make sure it's got no gas in it, cut it in half. And you've got two channels in there. I've got two cotton balls rubbed with Vaseline stuck in the rear end. Now all I've done is stripped everything out. So now it's a flint striker and it works really, really well. Now the rear end sits in here. Then this orange cap, this was just the little rubber boot off those, you know, the spring loaded alligator clip things. That's all that was. So that goes on that end and they join together and they overlap. So all this is watertight. I can have it on my belt loop and never lose it. So all this, this is my little cooking kit. All right. This all goes in here. This, this guy, the little camp stove slides in there. Get my Q-tips in, get my cotton balls in. All right, plenty of room. Look, down there, down there, and the little fire striker goes down in there, all in one kit, and still room, okay? Um, yeah, so that's not full, but I'm going to replace that, so you're going to have plenty of those. So yeah, anyway, I'm running out of time rapidly to stay under the 10 minutes. This is just an emergency kit. Now look, even if you're uh, coming back from a city and you're on a highway, if it's winter time, 9, 10 o'clock at night and it's snowing or there's been snow on the road, there's not going to be a lot of traffic around. You could be broken down off to the side of the road all night if there's a snowstorm. There's going to be no one, right? 
uh, you could be there for quite a few hours. You could be uh, might go for a, a hiking trip or go four wheel driving, and all of a sudden the car breaks down. So all that goes in there. Simple little kit. Let me know if you guys have any ideas of anything else I can throw in there. Also, let me know if you, if I've got something in here that you haven't seen before and you thought was a good idea. Let me know. All right, sorry, I did go over 10 minutes, so I'm going to end this now. Uh, sorry, I was talking so fast. Hope you kept up. That's my little two-gallon bucket emergency car kit. Grab and go. All right, thanks for watching.